graph shows the exponential growth of the number of organisms in a petri dish over a 12 hour period. So we have the table here and we have this graph over here, which is convenient. So you don't have to hand determine these amounts. To the nearest whole organism, how many organisms are expected to be in the petri dish, dish at 15 hours? Enter your answer in the space provided. So if we have a general feel for a relationship uh, that exists between this data, as you can see, it sort of goes up at a reasonable pace and then shoots up here. We can use a regression to determine what new values are going to be about. So a regression will create a line of a specific type, depending on the type of regression, that sort of matches the data as closely as possible. Fortunately for us, we don't have to guess at what the level of um, graph we want to work on or what kind of regression. It says we're going to do an exponential growth here, so we'll just do an exponential regression. If it was quadratic, we'd do quadratic. If it was linear, we'd do linear. If you don't have a calculator for this one, this is kind of a rough one just because of the answer type. If it had been multiple choice, you would have had some options, but it's in your best interest to have one. Hopefully they'll have, uh, you'll have something available to you that'll let you do it. I have the TA to four plus, so we'll use that. I'll go into list and I can edit the values in. I went ahead and did it so you wouldn't have to watch me type in numbers. That seems ridiculous. But basically I just did all the X values and hit zero and enter and then two and then zero and all that. Make sure they match up appropriately. 0 and 25, 2 and 36, 4 and 52, 6 and 68, 8 and 88, 10 and 104, and 12 and 151. So anything in that general area is how you're going to do it. Just make sure they're not mixed up because then it'll give you a weird answer. To do this, now I'm ready to go ahead and do the calculation. So I hit stat over to calc and we'll do an... EXP reg is exponential regression. Hit enter. Make sure that X list and Y list are actually correct. Occasionally you'll have typed in like X2 or X3 or L1 and L3, sorry, or you've mixed something or you deleted something. Just make sure they match up because if they don't, it'll just pull data from wherever. And you can always go back and just look, see L1 and L2. But occasionally L1 will get deleted and then it's a big mess to try to fix all that because you'll start to get errors. You can actually store the the regression equation if you want. I'm not going to because I have a piece of paper uh, or a virtual piece of paper anyway. And now I can just hit calculate. It'll give me an amount. It shows me the exponential equation A times B to the X power. And then Y is equal to our A is 27 point oh three somewhere around in there and then times our b value of 1.15 and i'm going to raise that to these are hours it wants to know what 15 hours is also i should just check once i get this answer if it's reasonable or not like am i going to get an answer that's lower than this it's probably not correct so now i can just type this in Make sure everything's matched up appropriately. And then I get 219.9 or 220, something like that. And really that's all that you need to put in there. You're not required to type in the data label or whatever. You don't have to put that it's organisms or whatever. And they give you a pretty wide range and it just sort of depends on uh, if you're using calculator, how it calculates things. Occasionally that'll be a problem. One thing that might have maybe not, but might have jumped out to people, is you get used to in your head when you do regressions, seeing things like you would expect this number to be maybe the what it is at zero. It's at 25. That's not true of most. It, it's only, it depends on the expression that you're using. A lot of times that number will be the y-intercept if you're doing a linear equation, but we're not doing a linear equation, we're doing exponential, so you do it at the first point, which would be uh, 27.03, just as an, as an aside. So look for the type of regression that you need to perform. 
type in your variable or your answers or data and make sure that's all matched up and then run that regression. I would suggest you write down the formula for yourself and then type it in as opposed to trying to save it and move it around because one little thing goes wrong and you end up with the wrong answer and it's tough to tell if you're in the middle of something. So that's just my suggestion. Use that as you may.